In today's episode, you will learn how to monitor the battery voltage from anywhere around the world and control DC light bulbs and other DC loads using 12 volt SPDT type relays. This is an IoT Internet of Things based project and is entirely based on the Node MCU ESP82665 module and Blink application. These are the two wires which are coming from the 12 volt battery. These wires are connected with the digital multimeter and also with the voltage sensor. This tutorial covers number one, voltage sensor pinout and calculation. Number two, complete circuit diagram. Number three, blink application designing and finally number four, testing. Let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the voltage sensor module that we will be using today. This module is capable of measuring the voltages ranging from 0.0, .0 to 445 volts to 25 volts DC. But if you want to measure voltages higher than 25 volts, then you can watch my tutorial on how to modify this voltage sensor for monitoring higher voltages. In this tutorial, I performed all the calculations. I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. As you can see, on one side we have a block terminal. This is where we connect the voltage and ground wires coming from the battery, solar panel or any other source. The voltage wire is connected with a VCC terminal and the ground is connected with the ground terminal. On the other side, we have three male headers labeled as plus, S and minus. The S pin of the sensor module is connected with the analog pin of the node MCU ESP82665 module and the minus pin is connected with the ground of the node MCU module while the plus pin is not connected. Let's have a look at the circuit diagram of the voltage sensor. The voltage sensor module simply consists of two resistors connected in series which makes a voltage divider circuit. As you can see the resistor values used in this module are 30k and 7.5k. Let's perform calculations for this circuit. Maximum input voltage of this module is 25 volts DC. But this applies when this voltage sensor is used with the Arduino. Is the Arduino's I/O pins are compatible with 5 volts? Let's first of all calculate the output voltage of this sensor when the input voltage is 25 volts. Vn is equal to 25 volts. R1 is equal to 30 kilo ohm. R2 is equal to 7.5k. We can find out the output voltage by using the voltage divider formula. So V out is equal to 5 volts. So this sensor can be used with the Arduino without any problem, but it will damage the Node MCU ESP826655 module as the ESP826 is a 3.3 volt microcontroller. Applying more than 3.6 volts on any pin can damage the chip. So make sure the input voltage to this sensor never exceeds 18 volts. Always try to keep it below 18 volts. For 18 volts, you will get 3.6 volts. Enough with the voltage sensor. Now let's discuss the complete circuit diagram. The 12 volt and ground wires of the battery are connected with the VCC and ground terminals of the voltage sensor. The minus pin of the voltage sensor is connected with the ground while the S pin of the voltage sensor is connected with the analog pin S0 of the node MCU module. The plus pin of the voltage sensor is not connected. This is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. J1 is the female power jig and this is where we connect the 12 volts from a battery or 12 volt adapter or 
a solar panel. This power supply is used to power up the Node MCU SP8266 Wi-Fi module. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output side of the voltage regulator. 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. A wire from the output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the node MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module and ground is connected with the ground. A two-channel relay module is connected with the D0 and D1 pins of the node MCU module. These relays can be used to control the AC or DC loads. These relays are of the type SPDT, single pole and double throw. Two N2222 NPN transistors are used to control these relays. Now let's make the cell phone application using Blink. First of all, open the Blink application. Click on the new project and enter the project name. Click on the choose device and select node MCU. Make sure the connection type is set to Wi-Fi. Then click on the create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID. Simply copy and paste it in the programming. Click anywhere on the screen and search for the gauge and edit. Click on the gauge. Set the name as battery voltage. Click on pin and select virtual pin V2. Set the maximum value to 25. Change the font size and then click on the push button and select one second. Now again click on the screen and this time search for the numeric input and edit. Click on the numeric input. Set the title as load1. Click pin and select virtual pin v10. Set the minimum and maximum values. 10 will be used to turn off the load 1 while 11 will be used to turn on the load 1. Due to the insufficient energy, I cannot add another numeric input button. But you can follow the same exact steps. For numeric input 2, set the title as load 2. Select the virtual pin V11 and set the minimum and maximum values as 12 and 13. That's it. Now let's discuss the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download on the libraries. I've already explained this in my Getting Started tutorials. I defined some variables of the type integer. These variables will be used to store the values coming from the Blink application. The voltage sensor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the node MCU module, while the relays are connected with the digital pins D0 and D1. These instructions are already explained in my previous tutorials on the battery voltage monitoring system using Bluetooth and Android cell phone application. 
I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. This is the authentication token which was sent via email. This is the name of Wi-Fi router and this is the password. These instructions are exactly the same as explained in my previous IoT based projects. In the white setup function, I activated the serial communication using the serial.begin function and 9600 is the baud rate, which is the communication speed. Using the pen mode function, we set the sensor to input and loads is the output. Since a value 1 is a user defined function, this function has no return type and it does not take any arguments as the input. The purpose of this function is to find the input voltage of the sensor, which is in our case is the battery voltage and send the calculated value to the virtual pin V2 and display this value on the gauge. The blink underscore write function is used to control the loads depending on the values received through virtual pin V10 and virtual pin V11. The circuit diagram and programming can be downloaded from my website. The link is given in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. These are the two wires coming from the battery. These two wires are connected with the digital multimeter and are also connected with the voltage sensor. The positive wire of the battery is connected with the VCC terminal of the voltage sensor and the ground wire is connected with the ground terminal of the voltage sensor. Rest of the connections are exactly the same as explained in the circuit diagram. I hope you can hear the relay sound as it turns on and turns off. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.